people people who need people can be the great craziest people in the world women needing other women especially in Florida or even Atlanta forget all that you married and burst and first be a person who needs people people who need did I miss some of the words forgive me Barbara Streisand if I missed some of the words honey I want to talk about this situation that apparently I must have missed I missed something a few that you know uh, Fire Monster is she's the current theme and no matter what she says to you about or she complains about people talking about her she lives for this as long as the people are talking so don't feel sorry for her there's nothing to feel sorry for she loves it but a few a couple of days ago she came on here and she was telling us how she had to clear people out of her life and people were trying to stop her from being great. And she had to get rid of them. And she wanted to be free. She told us the whole story about how she can't hold anything inside. And she wears her heart on her sleeve. And when she says something is wrong, it's wrong. And she has to let the world know. She has to let the people know. Give me free. Give me free. I'm a free woman. I want to raise my child on my own. I don't want all this input. And she, then she said... I know you're there in my in know you're there in my bushes. I know you hear me. I'm telling you. Basically, step off. I want to be free. Right? So I didn't initially get it. I assumed she was talking about this man she met in the grocery store who apparently slept there sometimes but would not publicly claim her. We didn't. We never figured out if it was because of other relationships he had, or or the business that he was in, or whatever reason he did not want to, to ever appear on any of her social media, and he did, certainly did not ever want to appear with her publicly. I assume that this was this man she was telling, but the lady Deanna Irving on here brought up something very interesting on yesterday, and I don't mind giving credit where credit's due because this totally went over my head. Perhaps because I hadn't heard the, the later videos. But, let me see. So, Dan Irving suggested that the person she was talking about was not was not uh, this guy. What's his name? Ty uh, something. Chow. Some kind of... What, what, I don't even know what, what nationality the, the, the person is. But she seemed to think that he, she wasn't talking to him. She liked that, that strange ping coming over there and hitting it every once in a while. Right? But uh, she thinks that it was a woman because she said, Deanna Irving was saying that why would these people from her real life or from her drug life be in her bushes? We know who the people on here who hang out in the bushes and so forth, right? I assume well, maybe he peeped in there and heard something he didn't like or whatever and they, they were arguing about that. But no, she made an interesting suggestion. And then... Yesterday, this QB monster, he come out all of a sudden going off on the D. Ramsey. Now, wait a minute. Two days ago, Fire Monster saying she wants to be free and telling people to step off. And the people were in her bushes. And then I, I, I saw a D. Ramsey video suggesting that, that uh, the person could possibly be, be D. Ramsey, because she is a clingy woman, right? I said, well, I never thought of that angle. Why would this other guy be in her bushes? He's right there in the house with her. If he had, she had a problem with him, she'd be, she'd be arguing with him or telling him to step off or breaking up with him in, in, in real life. Why would he go somewhere to be on the computer to talk to somebody he's right there in the house with? So then when the Q monster came on yesterday talking about telling D. Ramsey to give five babes some uh, space or he, as he calls her the queen some space and she's not your friend five babies not your friend and saying all these things to discourage D. Ramsey 
for her uh, this apparent this parent obsession with Fi Monster, right? All these monsters, they play the mash. They play in Monster Mash. This is the Monster Mash. The Monster Mash. It is a graveyard smash. He's going all off on her. Now you know QB ain't gonna do nothing on his own. He is a do boy. Go do this. Go do that. Go do this. He's a do boy, right? So he ain't gonna take it upon himself to break up D. Ramsey and and Fi Monster. He must have heard, perhaps at one of these dinners where they were celebrating throughout the holidays, Thanksgiving, Halloween, all this, they had been discussing D. Ramsey. And apparently D. Ramsey has taken on an obsession with the Fire Monster. So do, uh, did, do they, did they have a physical encounter and the Fire Monster, I mean, and D. Ramsey got under, was under the impression that they were now in some sort of relationship she does appear to be a clingy woman, as evidenced by the way she clings to Sean Bradley, who no one seems to see what there is to cling to, but she clings to him. She 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 always talking about her husband. I go out and watch him with my husband. I do it with my husband. All this husband, husband, husband. D. Ramsey, if you're so in love with your husband, why are you out here making a fool of yourself in public when you're supposed to be in a relationship with him? Does he accept all of this foolishness of yours? You getting obsessed with people? So I'm I'm beginning to think now, of course this is a fresh story. I'm beginning to think now that D. Ramsey has probably got it a lot closer to right than I had it. I don't think it got nothing to do with the, with, with the high yellow man. The yellow mom. I tend to think that she may have it right with this. The person Phi Monster was trying to get rid of is D. Ramsey. Now this thing with this other other one of theirs, what was her name? The the uh, Bama girl. This brought it all out in, in the public, right? By, by who is taking up for Bama girl and first five monster goes off on her horribly. So D. Ramsey follows suit and they go after her. And then, uh, then, uh, Five monsters switch, switches reels, and now she's back supporting the uh, that one, the Bama girl, and so now D Ramsey, she's supporting Five Babe, supporting her friend, and all this, all this monster mash. That's what it is. It's the fact that they serve you up mashed potatoes. They're just like serving you up the monster mash. They're all falling. It's all falling apart now, and now on the perimeter, they have Sean Bradley. So we don't know who's telling who what to do, but it's becoming a big mess, right? Because they're all trying to follow someone else's wishes. They don't have sincere feelings about anything. It seems to be the only clear feeling is that Fire Monster does not want to be in a, a lesbian relationship with D. Ramsey. And looking at D. Ramsey, we can certainly see why. It's not only your physical appearance, but you are a, an extremely clean woman, D. Ramsey. So they're saying that there have been unnecessary phone calls because this boy wouldn't just take... QB doesn't even have enough brains to take it upon himself to go and tell you to back up off of 5-8. Five, five he, 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 he would never even dream of, of just doing that on his own. She had to tell him. She had to sick him to convey the message. She said, well, if the whole didn't get my message on, on my video, perhaps you can, we can get it a different way. Because QB does what she says. Because that's why he read my book. Why would he just pick my book out of the millions of books available in the world to come and tear apart? It was, it was her idea. Because she had done the exact same thing with Caldwell three weeks before that. You see? You see when you're making the mash? You're making the monster mash. The monster mash. It is a graveyard smash. <laughs> so you guys follow like I'll be following. This is our entertainment after all. They can't keep throwing this slop on, onto the YouTube streets and expecting no one to have a comment about it. That's what I mean. Don't feel sorry for them. Don't feel like they're being stalked. Oh, you're talking about her again. Girl, why is she? Why would she even introduce any of this shit to YouTube? Because they want us to talk about it. They want, the center, they want to be the center of attention, right? So the next play, who's the next play on? Okay, so... This, this D Ramsey, she came and cussed out 
she came and cussed out the QB monster yesterday, right? So we don't know if he's going to swing back or, 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 or not. Are, are they going to have, are, are they trying to manufacture a few beefs now before they try to record again? If that does in fact happen, is there a monster, a head monster behind the scenes trying to cause discord so that they have content for their next recording? We don't know. We're just watching, honey. We're just watching. But I had to come there and give my two cents on this because this is a developing story, right? So, Five Babe, have you wandered into the, into the path of a stalker, perhaps? A person who falls in love with people and become obsessive? And are you trying to say, listen, I don't need six calls a day. I don't need that from you. We are not in relationship. You have a whole husband. I'm a single woman who enjoys being a single woman. Is that what it is? The plot thickens, people. The plot thickens. But I think that I think that Deanna Irving might be a little closer to what the actual truth is in this situation. With the fire monster cleaning house and using her imp to perform the task. Right? Also, Miss Fire Monster, believe me when I tell you this. You were there in Atlanta. You know this is a crazy, violent, drunken woman. Be cautious. You don't want nobody like that falling in love with you. So perhaps it is the best thing to sever ties before this woman becomes really obsessed. Right? So we don't know behind the scenes, people. We don't know even know how Five Babe got so involved in the show, the show, the show, the show. Because she wasn't involved in it initially, right? Then all of a sudden she comes and her whole crew comes with her. Or bits and pieces. I mean, the crew ain't but four, four or five people. But all of a sudden they get so involved in the show, the show, the show. Was it D. Ramsey who inspired Sean Bradley to involve the Fire Monster? Because you have to remember the Fire Monster used to hate Sean Bradley. How do they get to be so chummy? Right? And why is it that the the, the uh, Sean Bradley monster can't comment on the situation with all of his monsters that are going crazy? His old monsters and his new monsters are now battling. And he has nothing to say, right? Could it have something to do with how he was able to acquire that house? Wasn't D. Ramsey involved in that? Perhaps he has some fear of getting on her wrong side. Was Five Babe added because of D. Ramsey and an obsession she already had? The plot thickens. What are your thoughts, people? Give them to me in the comments. Because I'm willing to learn. This I find extraordinarily interesting. 